How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 50, Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be this... of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. I'm eager to begin. Come along, the house awaits. Of uncle. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Slow down. There you go. Shall we? Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells and slamming shutters. This phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic, his only connection to the rest of the world a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. sudden draft. Nothing more. <laughs> My word, perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling.
Now tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to you? Out with it. All right, all right. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. <laughs> ha! So this is how it works. Impressive. Should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. I did. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square. Just a wretched soul, driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. 